Welcome to the show. Good to have you here tonight. Alzheimer's. Could the solution to the disease be found inside ourselves? That's a question researchers are asking today after they found a human gene with a power to protect brains from the dreaded disease. Here with more, Dr. Robert Melillo, president of the International Association of Functional Neurology and Rehabilitation, and he is co-founder of Brain Balance Achievement Centers. Great to have you here, doctor. Great to be here. Tell us about this gene. Well, listen, for all of us aging baby boomers, this is, uh, I think, good news. I think this is good news. Basically, it tells us that we've identified a gene that regulates uh, basically self-destruction of our brain over time, meaning that this gene, when it's turned on, it protects us against what we call oxidative stress, which is really basically stress on our brain that causes degeneration and really death. And, and the good news here is that it's in your, inside your body. When you're a baby, you have this gene and it's inside your body all the time. Could we find a way to flip it on and off? I think so. That's, the, that's really the key thing, is you're talking about not a gene mutation where the gene is damaged, but where the gene may be turned on or off. So yes, there are environmental factors that will lead to this. So there may be environmental factors that trip it off. So we can find those out and we can prevent this disease. That would and be we might great. be able to also use different things like drugs or exercise or brain stimulation to actually turn it back on. Amazing, amazing. I know a lot of families out there are desperate for some kind of solution. What kind of proof, though, do we have right now that this might work? Well, you know, I think that there's a lot of proof when you look at what we believe are risk factors for the disease, meaning that, you know, if you're unhealthy, if you have diabetes, if you have hypertension, if you have brain injury, if you're an athlete and you had a concussion, um, if you have ADHD as a child, these are things that all lead to increased risk of dementia and neurodegenerative disorders. So we know what kind of triggers it and I can tell you that in functional neurology a lot of my colleagues are actually doing things with brain stimulation where we're going to publish some research soon that's going to really uh, show that we can change this dramatically. That's very exciting. It now, is. Now I understand that there's also research, research with people, research with mice on this idea of this gene and, and changing it, making it do different things. Right. Is that convincing? Yes, absolutely. I think that, you know, it makes sense, really. I mean, when you look at it, it's got to make sense. So this makes sense because we know that increased stress, a stress response, is related to increased neurodegeneration. So we see that this gene regulates that stress response. It basically turns it off. So that if we have things that are related to stress, like hypertension, diabetes, uh, you know, obesity, these things we know elevate the risk and also increase your stress response. So, so if we can take care of those things, maybe we can take care of the Alzheimer's. Now, as you know, it takes a long time to come up with a, a solution you can put in a bottle or, or market to folks. How far are we to something that can really help people? Well, you know, if we're looking at something like a drug or something like that, it, it's probably a while. Uh, but what this tells us is that doing things that are lifestyle oriented, like increasing our health, increasing our exercise, diet, nutrition, what we eat, um, these things may also trigger this gene naturally, which is really makes more sense, right? And we don't have to worry about side effects. So I think we can do that now. So we can look at this information and I think it can have an impact right away. That's very exciting news. I know it a lot is. of people out there de desperate for some good news on the Alzheimer's front. Dr. Robert, thanks for coming on the show tonight. Great to have you here. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you. You too. Wow, that is good news. And more 